Today I'm going to show you how to make a photo collage using PicMonkey, particularly when you want to include text. So as you can see, I'm on the photo, the PicMonkey website, and right up here on the very right is an icon for collage. If I click on that, you'll see that on my Chromebook, it takes me to my downloads, where I can see any pictures and files that I've downloaded, and I have three images right there. You'll also know I have access to my Google Drive. So if I have images in my Google Drive, I can just easily navigate over to that. But as I said, here are the three images that I want. So I just selected them, I clicked open, and now I'm going to come back to the PicMonkey site, and it will show me these images, and it'll give me a default template here. This is always If I had other images that I wanted to grab, I can click on photos, which will take me to uh, back to my download area. But at the moment, these are the only three that I need. Now, if I don't want to use this template, there are plenty of others that I can choose from. And right here, you'll see on the left-hand side, this is your layout tool. And if I click on that, it'll give me of categories within which there are a number of templates to choose from. So, for example, in a row, you can see a, a varying degree of uh, number and size of boxes, uh, but you can also get into some that are more interesting when it comes to layout. For example, elegant. And I think I'm going to try this one right here. So, if I click on it, you'll see that it's changed. Now, another nice thing, I only have three images, but you'll see there's this big box and then five smaller boxes. I want to get rid of a couple of these smaller boxes. So I'm going to remove a cell, and I'm going to remove a cell here as well, because I just want three images. The other thing that you'll see is that I can adjust the size of these boxes. And what I'm planning right now is that this main box is going where I'm going to have some text, and I'm going to have three images wrapping around the text. So once I feel like I have this all straight away, I come back over here, click back on my images icon, and there's my pictures. So I can just start dumping these in. I think I'm going to put this guy right here. Now, another thing you'll see is that as I put them in, there's an edit tab that shows up. And this allows me to resize, if I like to resize, if I want to zoom in. It also allows me to drag this picture a little bit. So if there was something that I really wanted to have in the frame, I could move it. And I can play around with the exposure. So for now, I think I'll leave it just like that. And I'm going to come back over and grab my spider web picture. I'm going to put that one up here. Uh, once again, you'll see I have my edit function, and I do want to move that so the web is a little more centered. I guess I have to make it bigger before I can move it that way. So I'm going to move it a little bit and then drag it down. And finally, I'll get my last picture here, which I'm going to put oh, not in that one. Well, that's okay. All right, so uh, for some reason it made an extra box. But again, I can just remove that cell by clicking on it. So there it is. And I didn't want that one to be quite so big. So I'm going to shrink that up, which means that I need to move this because what I really want to have showing in this picture is that American flag at the top. So to get that position to get touchy sometimes. I think that should be good. Uh, that's good. Uh, I do move this guy. One thing you'll notice is that when I clicked on the tab, there's the effects. The reason going to the button is because this little crown means that it's only for upgraded users, i.e. people who have paid to have um, more uh, tools at their disposal. But there are other things that you can do with effects 
books that are for free. So we don't have to worry about that right now. So I have all my pictures and the next thing I want to do is add text. If I look over here, there's no function for which I can add text. Uh, instead, what I need to do is come up to the top and I'm going to click edit, which is going to take me to a completely different screen with a whole bunch of other tools, including uh, a place where I can add text. So when I click edit, the one thing that I will see is this really important message, ready to send this collage to the editor for text overlays and more. The reason they're asking you this is because you cannot come back. So you have to make sure when you click open an editor, you are totally happy with the images and layout that you have selected. And I am. So I'm going to open it in editor. And you'll see by default, when this opens up an editor, it it's automatic on the add text, which is this double T right here in just about the middle. So I'm going to scroll a little bit and look for a text that I like. Uh, I'm going to go for Edo. Uh, I didn't mean to click some as a royal feature. Okay, so I'm going to go for Edo, and then I'm going to click right up here, add text. And when I click that add text, here's my text box. So, you know, as you start to type, obviously you'll have to play around with the font size and positioning of the text box. I'm just going to start to type. Actually, I'm going to first just drag this out a little bit because I am going it to go the length. So, I'm going to start here. We need more Emerson because people are timid thinkers. Uh, and you'll see that what I thought about, you're just going to have to keep playing around with it, repositioning it. So I'm going to add one more statement here. We need more Emerson because or I spell it all correctly, spelling, punctuation, all those things really count. Whoops. Emerson because people refuse sorry refuse to see the beauty around them okay so that's going to be it for now for what i want to add and i'm going to like I said, reposition this a little bit uh the other thing is of course i can do with the text as you can see over here is i can change the color which i do think i'm I do I'm gonna make the text red um, and then I can uh, make it uh, bold or any of these other things so uh, that's pretty good as far as I'm concerned now the other thing that I would suggest is there's all these other tools for uh, manipulating your collage over here so you can do things like filters just like you would get on something like Instagram I'm gonna really show one my favorites, which is texture down here towards the bottom. If you open up textures, it allows you to put in some overlays just to add, I guess is the word texture. So there's a whole department here. Some of them have a little crown. You can only use them if you pay. But even without these ones here, I particularly like board, paper, and paint. And you can play around. I'm just going to show paint. Paint gives you three different options so this bluish splatter paint and a kind of more multi-color um, uh, painting and then this red and i'm going to go with the red now with the thing that you can do with this is that if you be less red or more red you can do the saturation so there i just grade it down a little bit. actually i want to keep it more red than that the other thing i can do is more pronounced 
or less pronounced with my fade. Uh, and finally, I can also click on move, which allows me to drag it around. If I see that maybe some of these paint are not in them because they are too distracted those around, or I can even move them around using these arrows to the sides. And actually, I like the way that it was before I clicked that arrow. Okay, so I'm going to um, just call that done. And I, I feel like this is finished up here of course and click save save will open up this file ready and to choose a place where I want to save it to so instead of pick monkey collage I'm going to quickly call this more Emerson. And I'm going to click on this middle quality. And then right here, save to my computer, which is going to bring to my starting place, my downloads. A moment here. Okay, here it is right here more because I misspelled that maybe at the end and I'm going to click save okay masterpiece save I want to just verify that before I complete my apps down here on my Chromebook my second pair of apps here's my files these are all the things that I downloaded that opens the thing worked out the way it should. Here it is, more Emerson. And the other nice thing about a Chromebook, of course, is that you'll see up at the top left is a tab for my Google Drive. If I know that I'm going to share any of these files with people through my Google Drive or use them somehow with Google Apps like Docs, all I need to drag. And now when I drive the next time, it shows me right here, we'll have my Emerson JPEG. And that's it. So hopefully this was helpful. Good luck.